Why, hello there, Spokane. Hello. Welcome to episode 101 of the weekend show. Yeah, I'm Dave and he's Angus. Yeah, I'm Angus, he's Dave, and I'm excited. Yeah, this might get out of hand. Yeah, this featured artist that we have this week, it does something to yeah, me. It turns you into nut bars. It's like coffee and Red Bull with like mm. crack and meth, but for <laughs> my earballs. Okay. Seriously, they're delicious. Well, our featured artist this week is the ongoing concept. We'll tell you more about them here in a second, but yeah. I will tell you at the end of the show, I'm turning this place into a mosh pit. All right. Well, in the meantime, here's what the show looks like. Now, first, we'll tell you about the ongoing concept. Then we'll tell you about all the shows. Shows that are sponsored venues. From there, we go to the Angus Blackburn Jr. Weekend Warrior Badasses of this week. Now, then we are going to let Blink. Angus throw darts for some damn reason. Ah, because I'm responsible with darts. Right. I am right. On the receiving end of those darts will be a bunch of flyers, man. Yeah. So we're going to randomly choose a bunch of shows that are going on here in Spokane this weekend. Now, then at the very end of the show, we're going to play a snippet from one of the videos from the ongoing concert. Which was impossible to decide because they have like 30 videos and I love them they all. They are an extremely talented band from the Coeur d'Alene, Idaho area. They've been signed all seven years that they've been in business, I of several videos in the hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube. Dude, I promise you they're one of the most unique bands you'll ever yeah. see. Lucky for you, you can see them this Sunday at the Big Dipper. Dude, it's a free CD release show. Starts at 6 o'clock. Yeah, and it features some heavy hitters. Mm, Faust, Faust. Live in Barcelona uh, and Indian Goat. Dude. Yeah, we hope you'll wait to the end of the show. Check out some music from the ongoing concert. Or check them out on Twitter Tube or Instabooks. Or actual social media sites. Right. All right. Time for the sponsor venues, right? That is correct. Uh, first up, it's the Vacan. Yeah. Just go there. Yeah, eat, drink, and be merry. Be merry, my friends. Yeah, they've done a beautiful job in there. You definitely have to check Delicious it Delicious yummy yum. Yeah. Some of them will get you inebriated. Indeed. All right, next up, it's the Roadhouse, dude. Yeah, on Friday, the Roadhouse has Rocktoberfest. Yeah, features some really tight bands. Awesome band Window Pain from Seattle, plus Hellbilly, Children of the Sun, and Vile 8. Yeah, that show starts at 7, only $10 in advance, 12 at the door. That's tonight. Don't be a weirdo and miss it. Right, and for you country fans, Saturday is the night at the Roadhouse. The Magnificent Hankers will be performing at 9 o'clock. High, high level musicianship. Two highs from Dave. That's pretty high. Well, out of four, I'd give him four highs. That's Willie Nelson high. Yeah, it's good stuff at the Roadhouse. Mm. Now we move on to the Black Diamond. Three, three beers on tap. Have I mentioned they have delicious food there? They do have delicious food. I try and eat there at least once a week, if not twice. Well, the Nightlife Network is there every Wednesday for the Songsmith series. That's right. And this week, they have the wonderful, the marvelous Brian Warhol. That's right. But that's next Wednesday. This weekend, they've got DJ Sterling on Friday. Then on Saturday, you got to hear this dude. DJ Stud tears it up. Yeah, he's got some amazing remixes. And that was a Black Time with 33 beers on tap. 33 beers on tap. Black Diamond. All right, next up. It's the Jackson Street. The House of Music. Man, we've done almost 80 Songsmith series down there. Yeah, Kevin Doran just killed it yesterday. Dude, there's no place I'd rather be on a Thursday night. I guess you have kids. If I could be down there every night, I would. Right, well, this Thursday for the Songsmith series, special guest, Wyatt Wood. Wyatt Wood. <laughs> Wyatt Wood. He's not the Lord of the Wood or the Prince of the Wood. He's the Wyatt of the Wood, whatever that is. What is that? What, did, what do you even mean when you do that? Isn't a Wyatt like a like one of them English things, like a, not a king yeah. or a don, but like a, he's a Wyatt, dude. Yeah. Sir Wyatt. He's Wyatt Wood. That's his name. Whatever. This Thursday, he's at the Jackson Street doing the Songsmith thing, 7 to 9. Right. Jackson Street, also, they have live music every Friday. Yeah, but Tim, our resident stupid, didn't figure it out and no. get the band in there, so hopefully there's a flyer. Right. And Saturday, they have karaoke with James at 9 o'clock. And that leads us to the Big Dipper. Yeah, we told you about the huge Sunday show with the ongoing concept. They're going to tear that place up. That yeah. couch is not going to make it through that show. The Big Dipper couch, yeah. it's destroyed. I don't know. One thing I've noticed about the ongoing concepts fans is they're, they're pretty cool, down to earth people. You're a kiss ass, Dave. But Shut the Big up. Dipper Shut on up. Saturday, dude, they've got a killer show. Probably one of the best shows of the weekend. Easily. It's session smooth jazz. Some of the best musicians for hundreds of miles featuring. Reginald Reese and Darius Starks. Yeah, that shows at 7.30. It's only $10. That sounds so good in the Dipper. Awesome show. All right, that leads us to the weekend warrior badasses of the week. Right, and for those of you new to the show, they basically are people that play lots of times. They play at multiple venues throughout the week. Or they can play in multiple bands at the same show. Right, I did make that rule. Or if they're in a band and they play thrice, they're all weekend warrior badasses. Yeah. If you play Friday, Saturday, Sunday, badass. Yeah, according to two douchebags that have a podcast. It's raining douche. Yeah. Well, I asked for that, didn't I? I'm certain I don't know what you're talking about, but right. I do know that Rusty Jackson is our first ABJWWBAOTW. Yeah. He calls it that for sure. I'm a busy dude, but right. so's Rusty, man. He played Tuesday. Yeah, but if you'd like to see a top notch tribute to the Highwayman, dude, brilliant songwriter, Rusty Jackson is my kind of dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure nobody's looking for you to give him a character reference. Well, first of all, how dare you? Common sense. And Rusty Jackson, he's my buddy, man. Yeah. He doesn't kick me out of any shows, and I've <laughs> probably broken two of his things. You probably should next time, Rusty. It's the Jagger, bro. No, it's the Angus, bro. Well, Saturday, you can see the outstanding Rusty Jackson. 
Jackson. Patient. At Moscow's Slice and Biscuit. That's right. I know I'm right, Dave. I read it off a sheet. Well, also joining him Saturday is a fantastic fiddle player, Erica Janelle. Yeah, she tears it up, and she avoids me like the plague. Yeah, she's very smart. All right, well, Rusty Jackson was kind of our featured Angus Blackburn Jr. Weekend Warrior Badass of the Week, because, you know... Because we're doing that now. Yeah, we, we did something. Yeah, There's a thing that we just did yeah, there. Yeah. Hope you liked it. Rusty Jackson. All right, our next Weekend Warrior Badass of the... <laughs> Seriously? Why? Every time? Yeah. You already did it once. It's traditional. Well, why don't you go find a good trumpet sound? How dare you? For somebody that's never heard Wyatt Wood, those sad people, nice. well, you kind of make them sound like a weirdo or something. We're going to do this here. No, we're going to talk about the three shows that you can see him at this weekend. Dude, first Friday at LL1 Cellars. I have no idea where in the world that <laughs> is, but five o'clock if you can find it. Angus, it's Liberty Lake. Oh, it's code. Why are we it's writing in code? code. We're not. Don't write in code, you stupid. He's writing in code. No, can you code, sit down? You stupid. Please sit down. You tell me to sit down every damn show. You're always yelling and flailing about. I do do that. Yeah. <laughs> do do. I'm so sorry, Wyatt. This right. has been a heavy drinking week. All right. Yeah. He also plays Saturday in Moses Lake, so like you care. Saturday, also, he's playing at the Community Pint <laughs> from 8 to 10. Where the hell's the Community Pint? It's right off Sprague downtown. Oh, i got to check that out now. All right. Next weekend, Worry About Ass of the Week is Kicho. And I refuse to take down this picture of him with the chainsaw. And no one knows why you want to do that. What do you mean, why? It's a Kicho in its natural habitat, dude. What are you talking about? It's a Kicho in the forest shredding. Okay. The producer said that was a stretch when yeah. I put that in the script, but I think that's genius right there. I think I agree with the producers. Dude, shut your upper stink spigot. My upper... Friday at the Fedora, the Kicho's playing at 6 o'clock. Where do you come up with this crap? I'm reading it off of a script, dude. Upper stink spigot. I'm telling you to shut up, dude. That's how I tell you to shut up. Are you also telling me my breath is bad? I guess, yes. All right, fair enough. So Kicho also has a show Saturday at the Post Falls Brewing Company at 6. All right, the next weekend we're about after the week is Indian Goat. And they're one of the few two-piece bands. They're fuzzy guitars and a drummer, right? And vocals, it's pretty high energy. <laughs> Well, they're playing the Terrain Art and Music Fest on Friday. Actually, there's like, I think they're playing all over the place. It seems like Indian Goat might be everywhere, man. Jensen Bird Building on Friday, the Pen on Friday. Well, and the Big Dipper for sure on Sunday. I think I might need to stand up nope. and raise my voice. Tim, you're dumb, dumb, stupid. All right. But Indian Goat, certainly we can wear about asses of the week. Wow. Okay, so what? next up, it's Dangerous Type. Award-winning band. I think I've got a tick with them, too, now. Dangerous Type. The award-winning, yep. Yeah. Dangerous Type. The award-winning, Dave. I'm just checking. Well, if you had a time machine, you could see the award-winning Dangerous Type on yep. Thursday at Cruisers, but you missed it, man. So you just got these two chances at Ripple's at Red Lion Friday and Saturday at 9. That's two pretty good chances. You are correct, dude. Next up, it's Kristen Lee. Yeah, she's busy as usual. She's got to be doing 150 shows a year, man. That sounds fair. Maybe more. Well, Friday, she's playing downtown Spokane at the Iron Goat from 7 to 9. And she's got a special show at the Hotel Red Lion Skyline Ballroom. Kristen Lee and the Broken Rosary Whiskey Thieves. All right, next weekend, where your badass of the week is just playing Darren. Outstanding guitar player. Yeah, he has a very, very tight set. Two varies and a tight from this this guy for just playing Darren. Right. Well, Friday he's playing the Aging Barrel at seven o'clock. That's at what Nine Mile Falls. Yes, it is. Yes, a dart. Oh wait, we're not to that yet. Our next weekend we're badass of the week is Tommy G. He is a badass every week. Yeah, he really is, and it's his birthday weekend. Uh, and he's playing the Chinook Lounge at the Coeur d'Alene Casino. Yeah, both Friday and Saturday. Uh, happy birthday, Tommy G. Happy birthday, Mr. Tommy G. Yeah, happy birthday. All right, here's a little insider tip, man. You know, musicians love it when on their birthday, people that normally don't come out and see them that do love them. We'll come out and see him. That is true. So Chinook Lounge. Friday and Saturday. Mr. Tommy G. Next weekend, where badass of the week is James Walker. Yeah, full disclosure, he works yeah. here, man. He's one of the high up video editors at the Night Left Network. Yep. And he also plays drums in Sovereign Citizen and the Nonprofits. And he performed twice. He did. He was one of the nonprofits at all of the Songsmith series this yes. week. He was awesome. He is awesome, but he also picks on me, man. That's because you're a douche. I'm like hardcore, dude. He does his magic tricks and he's like really good at him. He messed with your head. Dude, he fried my noodle, bro. Yeah. James is a badass. He's a highlight of the Songsmith series every Wednesday and Thursday. You should hear him play that didgeridoo. Yeah, he's talented. As long as he knows I'm his boss now, then everything's fine. Why would you be his boss? I'm everyone's boss here. I'm the talent. Well, that's not correct. It doesn't matter because I'm going on to the next weekend where badass of yeah, the week. You're you're not anyone's boss. I'm pretty sure I'm your boss. Yikes. All right, the last weekend where badass of this week is Window Pain from Seattle. Yeah, they're actually our featured artist in Seattle this week for our Seattle show. Right, but they're playing at the Roadhouse on Friday. Yeah, we told you about that. They're also playing down there in Lewiston at Third Wheel. Yeah, and they are 
they're highly respected in Seattle. They get the love over there, man. They've got some big shows coming up next week in Seattle. Right, so that's the weekend where your badass is this week. And it's Tim's fault if you know somebody that should be on here that's not on here, or it's your fault. It's always next week. All right, this is the segment where I lose projectiles. Yeah, this is a lightning round. I'm flinging the thing. Hey, first up, we're at the third wheel on Saturday. Dude, it's Elizabeth Black's birthday bash, man. It features Violate, Invasive, and Window Pain. Hey, doesn't that make Violate a weekend where your badass of the week? Oh, my God, Tim's that stupid, you Tim, you stupid. There you go. So Violate, they are weekend where your badasses this week. Plus, you get a chance to see Invasive, man, down there at the third wheel. Awesome venue. Yeah, it starts at 7.30. $10 in advance, 15 at the dark. Another Saturday show, it's Coriolene. She is performing Saturday at the Left Bank Wine Bar. Yeah, she is a huge favorite there. For good reason. 7 to 10 on Saturday, Left Bank Wine Bar, Coriolene. Yeah, speaking of the Left Bank Wine Bar on Friday, another favorite down there. That's yeah, Nick Grow, man. Well, it's not Nick Grow, man. It's Nick Grow. Well, he's awesome, man. He's playing 7 to 10. Fun place to be. I just hooked the dark. Here's a cool show for today at the Observatory. Yeah, it's 9 o'clock tonight, only $6 for Roselet Bone and Whiskey Dick Mountain. Intimate setting, it's going to be a great show. Whiskey Dark Mountain. There we go. We are at Cruisers. Tomorrow, another Saturday show at Cruisers. It's Heart of Ale. Oh, yeah. Limber Lost. And Ragbone, 8 o'clock. Yeah, that show's only $7. That show's going to rock. There yes. is no question about that yes. show. That will rock. Right, that's for sure. That's for dark. Here's one of the outstanding country artists that are out there performing this weekend. Yeah, it's the Ryan Larson Band. They're playing in chat where I do, but it's the Ryan Larson Band. we got to tell you about it, man. They're playing in prime time. Well, it's at prime time. Whatever, Dave, shut up. It's Friday and Saturday. Right. Ryan Larson Band, always awesome to yeah. see. Insert random thing about a dart here. Shut up, Dave. How about I tell them about this huge show today? Mm. Jensen Bird Building. Uh, it's terrain. It's a cool thing they're doing there with that terrain. Yeah, this know? festival features Indian Goat, Salve, Django. Huge show. Django, man. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Romero, Francois, King Skelly, T.S. The Solution. Dude, this is a huge show. <laughs> it Collage. Is. Awesome group. Soul Man Black. Atari Ferrari. This is a huge festival, 5 yeah. o'clock. It was T.S. The Solution. I think you cut right. yourself off there with your own excitement. I am excited, dude. This is a big show. I'm just saying. Well, I'm just darting, Dave. Well, Did you see me dart? How about that Bartlett? Dark. They have an awesome show on Friday with the Greaves and Dem Atlas. Plus TMS, 8 o'clock. Yeah, Bartlett always has cool shows. They had Dave McRae on Thursday. You really can't count on them to bring in, like, high-level stuff. Mm -hmm. By the way, I threw a dart. All right. Looks like your dart found the pin. Dude, Friday, Midnight Ghost Train, Indian Goat, Suga, and Ghost Divorce are tearing it up 7 to 11. It's Indian Goat Weekend. That's a fact. And then Sunday, dude, at the pin, they've got a cool show, Arch Spires, coming to town from BC. And plus Reaping and Asmodia. That's some easy listening stuff right there. No. Hucking this thing at the wall. You're pretty drunk at this point, aren't you? Yeah, I've been sipping well, I wasn't trying to get you to drink more. Now you're drinking more. Okay. I know that I darted, I think. You did, and you found the band Blackjack. I love that band, man. They're they're awesome. The country, man. 10 o'clock, dude, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, they're playing the Spokane Eagles. 10 o'clock? That doesn't sound right. Is that right? Tim, you did it. Well, stupid. Sit, probably he probably sit. did. Tim probably did that. You're impossible to work with. I'm pretty sure there's a flyer. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, dart. All right, check this out. Friday at Auntie's Bookstore. It's Starlight Hotel. Awesome duo, man. I'm playing 6 to 9 for First Friday. Yeah, it's always fun seeing those guys. See my dart? All right, Barlow's in Liberty Lake on Saturday. They've got the outstanding artist, Pat Coase. Seriously a treat, man. What a talent. Yeah, he's playing 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. That's a really fun, intimate setting, too. Yeah, Pat Coase, amazing blues player. Still, I got a dart. Well, it's a Humble Burger Modest Music Festival. Yeah, it's a bit out of town, and it's Saturday and Sunday, but it's got some crazy good artists. Yeah, we don't have a full list. That's because Tim's God, a stupid Jesus, dumbass. You're flailing. Dumb. He flailed again. I'm just, all over. you know. Right, this is excellent PR. Way to go. I'm sorry. Well, Humble Burger, man, you got your thing. You got built to spill on the bill. Oh. That's a great rhyme that I give you. Trademark me. Copyright right. me. Oh, Plus okay. Finn Riggins, Marshall McLean, and Itchy Kitty, dude. Itchy Kitty's down there. Yep. Starts at 9 o'clock on Saturday and 2 o'clock on Sunday. And now I'm throwing a dart. Dude, stop doing that. You did that on the other show. This is my thing. I throw the darts. Yeah, I don't care. How dare you? At the McGinty Room on Saturday at 8 o'clock, they have a really cool show. Oh, yeah, dude. Perfect by tomorrow. Exact change. And Matisse. I'm not sure. I don't want you to yell at Tim. Oh, but I'll there's yell. No, there's no price on that. I'll yell at Tim for no, you. I don't want you to yell at Tim. All right, well. Tim's a stupid. No. no. That's what Dave, Dave thinks no, you're no. stupid. No, I don't. Dumb. I, well, Total. I do, but, you know. Well, I just, I'm helping you, man. Yeah, I definitely don't think you should do what, what you're doing. Mm. Uh, what do you mean, man? I'm just drinking. Yep. I'm just. Uh, that's what I mean. I don't. Okay. He's down. He does this to me, what, every, like, 25 episodes. Steve, I, I mean, he's, he's passed out. All right, well, I guess, you know, that's the show.
I'm Dave. He's been Angus. Uh, there were other shows. I mean, Son of Brad's out there playing, and Eric Newhauser. I think Rags and Bush Doctor's out there at Zola this weekend. Uh, but now I think it's a good time to get to the featured artist. Uh, it's too bad Angus passed out when he did, because the ongoing concept is really one of his favorite bands. But here's one of their songs. I think it's one of their latest videos. Uh, I look forward to talking at you next Friday, Spokane. Bye bye. Steve, what the hell am I supposed to do with him? I don't sleep there. He's just drooling on everything.